Hey, welcome in SVK Review Episode 2. So today I will talk with you about how to start in DLG. So first point why start with 1.5 meters or 1 meters. Today 1 meters are really performing and they are enough high end for really really fly need to great as 1.5 meter glider. So for 1 meters if you want fun flying you want make DLG as fun flying with friends or make small contest and just like this just like this for me the good gliders one meter really great performing today are EP good mini and strike two these three gliders it's really enough for fun flying because they are really really great performing for 1.5 meters you have three gliders too for entry level DLG. So it's the Blaster 3, the Lula, and the Go 2. These three gliders are really great performers for beginners in DLG. And I think for the durability of the glider. I think the Lula and the Go2 are a bit on the top of the Blaster 3 because the Blaster 3 is hollow wing and the Lula and Go2 are full core wing. So for beginners I always recommend the full carbon version because if you buy a glass version it will be less durable and you will have easy dent on it and they are really weaker yes carbon is stiffer and stronger it's a bit more expensive but you will save money because you will not break it easy as a fiberglass version and carbon fiber is really really more durable so now we will talk about the servers, which server buy. So for me, it's three big names in all the servers brand. So it's Bluebird, KST, and MKS. For Bluebird, I'm talking about the A10 servers. So they are really new on the market. For the KST, I'm talking about the X08 V5 so it's a new version of X08 really more reliable and for MKS I'm talking about D75K the MKS is existing in two versions HV and standard the standard is 3.5 to 6 volt uh, using so for one cell it's really great because they are high torque and really high precision. For the HV it's 5 volt to 8.4 volt. So it's really really great and the torque is really really impressive in two cell lipo. For X08 and Bluebirds they are 3.5 to 8.4 volts so one and two cell compatible. So you can use really what you want like battery so one cell lipo NEMH or two cell lipo um, L L I F E all all what you want. So for me these three servers are the basics or for TLG and anything in this brand is good. Not a lot of feedback on Bluebirds, but I think like 
it's Bluebird, so it's a great trademark. Anything you should buy in for DLG, I think MKS, KST or Bluebird is good. It's enough to reliable. Um, that's it. The the Bluebird and KST are cheaper than MKS. Uh, they are, are around 40 45 bucks each and the MKS are around 65 bucks so it's a bit more expensive for MKS but they are more reliable and they are really 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 accurate so okay I'm sponsored by MKS but if I'm sponsored by them it's because it's really 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 great servers then I want to talk about the radio. So me, I'm flying on Terranis. Why I'm flying on Terranis? Uh, first thing, it's because it's cheap. So it's low cost, not cheap, but an high-end radio. Because you can set all what you want in this radio. It's pretty impressive. So me, I just move it this switch you see this switch is um, disabled and I cut the wire for solder and mouse and computer mouse uh, switch for the preset so my preset is here I have three um, flight mode speed cruise minimum sync rate and brakes here. I have nothing on the throttle stick, only the hell runs here. I'm flying in mode one, and my flaps are here. So it's really, really easy to fly for Axi with the, um, the slider because when you set it, okay, I want to fly two millimeters flaps. If you move the stick like this it will not affect your flap settings so if you want to fly with more flaps you can you don't need to move the thumb what I really like with this radio is she's talking so if I want to say 10 minutes, ten minutes. okay she say 10 minutes I just need to press here 9 minutes and 55 seconds I set this switch for she say me the working time if I want to know my flight time so my flight time is reset by the micro switch with the preset and I can ask her for say me the flight time with this switch 40 seconds that's it so it's really easy she it's fully upgradable radio and for me I just put this foam on the back and this piece of balsa on the front, it's hard balsa and for great a really good grip I need a good grip for be relaxed when I launch because if I I squeeze the radio I will can't throw high as I can I will not be at 100% on the power in the glider, but I will squeeze the radio, I will be focused on the radio, so it's not good for launch. So, that's it for this beginner video. I hope you enjoy it, and if you have any question, you can comment below, and hope you like it, and see you later. Bye.